Hey, what's going on dudes and dudettes? I am the Mystical Green Beanie, and politics and comics are a huge topic right now. Or, at the very least, it seems that way since that's all I see people talking about, and I spend most of my time on the internet because I don't have a life. Uh, but regardless of my own lack of self-worth, uh, I've been seeing a lot of people debate this topic and raise the question of whether or not politics should have a place in comics. And honestly, the way I see it, politics are inherent to comics. Even from the very beginning, comic book characters have always been mouthpieces for writers to voice their political opinions, even to the point now where some characters are defined by their political ideology because their politics make up who they are as a character. And in taking away a writer's ability to talk about political issues would not only completely nullify the medium, but it would radically alter certain characters to the point where they're fundamentally different people. Now to be fair, not all comics are political. Sometimes comics contain stories that are just cool and fun for the sake of being fun, and sometimes as an audience, we need that. But contrary to popular belief, those stories are few and far between, because as I've said before, comics and politics go hand in hand. Now let's take this a step further, because the reason why so many comic book fans are divided on this topic is due to the current political state of our society and the war between the left and the right. I can't just sit here and tell you that comics haven't always leaned to the left, because they have. And even when certain characters do lean to the right, they're almost always put through a character arc that shows them that their current political ideology is flawed and that liberal ideology is superior in every way. Now these aren't exactly my personal beliefs, but this is just the way the medium has always been. Finally, this is something that's come up very recently. Uh, not too long ago, I believe it was Mark Wade who got into a Twitter debate with someone and said that every superhero that you love is an SJW. Now this is where things get dicey. Er, then they already are. Uh, I get where Mark Wade and the writers who agree with him are coming from, I just feel like he used the worst combination of words possible. Because social justice as it's portrayed in fiction is nowhere near as grey and muddled as a concept as it is in the real world. Because I don't see Captain America, for example, watching the MTV 2017 New Year's Resolutions for White Guys video and thinking to himself that everyone in that video is correct and they shouldn't have their ideals challenged. And I don't see Wonder Woman watching BuzzFeed's manspreading video and saying, yes, someone who finally gets it. I mean, maybe the other Amazons might agree with the video, but they already have a visceral hatred for men, so I don't really see how that matters at this point. But on the same hand, I can see Rorschach, who was very conservative, getting into disagreements with Ben Shapiro. I can see Hal Jordan, who generally speaking is a conservative, disagreeing with Gavin McGinnis on a couple of issues. And I feel like labeling every superhero as an SJW robs them of the nuance and makes them less unique. So basically what I'm trying to say is that politics will never not be a part of comics, because comics are so very political in the first place, and whether it's Marvel, DC, or whatever, the worlds that these fictional characters live in are exaggerated mirrors of our very real and very political world. Anyways guys, that's the video. I hope this made things a bit more clear as to why politics exist in comics in the first place. But if it didn't, let me know down below in the comment section, that way we can hopefully have a productive conversation on the matter. And with all that said, if you like this video, hit the like button, share, support the channel, and if you want to see more content like this, all you have to do is subscribe. I'm the Mystical Green Beanie, thank you for watching, and as always, until next time, adios nachos, adios. Show me what you